Hello weight losing fans, today I stepped up onto the magical mystical digital scale weighing in at 206.2 pounds. That's down 2 pounds from yesterday, that's right. Yesterday I came in at 208.2 pounds and the reason was is because I had a lot of food the night before and it just didn't leave right away. But that doesn't matter, that's a long, long way away from my goal of getting down to 180 pounds. Today I have a video for you. Um, it's going to be a, a video about um, another video about what we eat and how many calories uh, is in the food we eat. But I want to say something really briefly. I have a friend of mine that says, "Well, David, uh, you're making these videos. Make sure they're very short videos. You know, make sure they're you know they're only five to six minutes. Get your message out briefly. You know, get it out there fast." Otherwise, you're just rambling and people don't want to hear what you have to say. Well, you know what? Let me tell you something. If you don't want to listen to my videos, if you don't want to hear what I have to say, click your little YouTube screen off and go look somebody else's blog. That's all I have to say. Um, sometimes what I have to say is rambling. It's how else do you talk about a topic and get, get the point across that I have to get across in five and six sentences. I'm not the news media. I don't abbreviate everything and turn everything into a one word message that doesn't have verbs and articles in it and is bad English just so that I can make it brief and sound exciting for the news. You know what? This is a boring topic. Losing weight is tedious work. It is. And it's boring. It's, it is. I don't like it any more than you. But it's a necessary process if we're going to get to where we're supposed to be. we got to lose weight. And I'm somebody that's been successful at it. And actually, I am still very successful at it because I'm still working at it. I have not given up. Back to what my videotape is about, or my video chip. Uh, the other day, I had some sun chips. And I'm going to talk to you about the calorie count in sun chips and how they advertise these chips. Uh, just watch the video. It's following immediately. I'm David Dane. That's the way it is. Hello, weight losing fans. Today is February 15th, 2011. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to show you something about some of the food that we eat in this case it's a thing called sun chips the other day a friend of mine gave me this bag of sun chips I didn't go and buy these things uh, normally I do not buy chips like this if I go buy any kind of a snack food I usually just buy flavored potato chips or something like that now these when I ate these chips they were delicious. They really were good. I mean, I liked the taste of them. However, that said, I want to point some things out to you about these chips. I'm not taking a shot at the manufacturer of the chips personally, but what I want you to understand something here is they're doing everything in their power to get you to buy a bag of these chips or a, a container that has these in the snack chips it you know a, a carton that has six or twelve of these small packages of chips uh, the manufacturer is doing everything in their power to get you to purchase their snack chips one of the first things they do is notice something about the bag it's very bright and it's very nice to look at and they've done something different now because of the government cracking down on quote people who are unhealthy they've started advertising something they've started advertising the healthiness of the chips themselves If you'll notice on this bag, it says heart healthy. See the big heart? It's got a heart with a, a small grain next to it. 
by the way, these, these bags shimmer in the light and they catch the eye. So I'm going to try to hold this bag up and I'm going to read this to you. It says, Garden Salsa. Look how beautiful that is. It's got a bright tomato and some green jalapeno peppers behind the tomato. And don't those little corn chips look delicious? Well, they're not really that much different than Frito chips that have been around for a long time. But back to what they're trying to push on this product. 18 grams of whole grains per one ounce serving. Okay. Diets rich in whole grains and other plant foods and low in saturated fat and cholesterol may help reduce the risk of heart disease. Okay. Those sun chips are really nothing different than a bag of ordinary potato chips. I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to turn the bag over and I'm going to resume on the back side of this. And I want to show you something. Alright, we're looking at the back of the same bag of sun chips. And I'm going to focus in on the back side panel right here. It has some more advertising on it. And just a few more little key phrases to try to induce somebody to eat this product. It says, Big changes come from small steps. To a healthier you. Notice. Heart with the, the little reed of grain next to it. And it says, a step to a healthier you. Sun chip snacks are packed with 18 grams of whole grains per one ounce serving, which may help reduce the risk of heart disease. Oh, really? Is there any proof to that at all? Then again, here it says, a step to a healthier planet. We use solar energy to help make sun chip snacks at one of our plants in Modesto, California, which helps reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. Well, if you're manufacturing anything in Modesto, California, or California in general, they have some very strict smog and pollution laws, and they're outlawing fossil fuels like oil and energy producing fuel oils. So if you're going to manufacture anything in California, you better start using solar panels and wind power or you won't be able to manufacture anything, much less manufacture corn chips. So the reality of this is they're not doing it because they they feel any kind of, you know, benefit towards you or any benevolence towards you. They're doing it because they can't manufacture in California unless they use sun power and wind solar power. They would darn sure use oil if they could because around the rest of the country their manufacturing plants use fossil fuels or they use fuels like coal fuels and everything else. And I have nothing wrong with those fuels. But my, my point is this, is are you buying these chips because they manufactured them with solar panels? Or are you buying them because they taste good? Take a small step today to learn more. Visit www.sunchips.com. What are they going to tell you? What are they going to tell you about this product that's not already on the on the on the container? Now let's just take a look what's inside the container. It says 30% less fat than regular potato chips. Oh really? All right. Uh, did they bake them or did they fry them? Because if they're baked, they usually take up, they usually soak up a little bit of less oil. Did they use a different kind of oil that was less calories? It doesn't say. But we'll we'll look at the paneling. We'll see. So here it is: a serving size, one package, servings per container, one. Amounts per serving: calories, 210. Calories from fat, 80. Here's what that's saying, folks, that 80% or 80 calories, rather, 
is one third or a little more than one third the calorie count per serving. Uh, in other words, 80 calories comes from fat and the other calories comes from the grain product that's inside this bag or you know the manufactured grain product. Now take a look at something here. It says percent daily value. It says nine grams of fat which is 14 percent of the daily value for fat. Well what does that mean? It means that you can eat more fat today. Uh, you're only eating 14 percent of the daily recommended portion of fat. You can actually eat more fat. And it says that uh, 1.5 grams is 8 uh, percent saturated fat for your daily intake. Of course it mentions polyunsaturated fat, monosaturated fat, and it doesn't have any ratings for those things. It says there's zero cholesterol in this. It says um, 260 milligrams of sodium, which is 11 percent of the daily value that's allotted for recommendations for food consumption. Well, the bottom line is this. If I was at a game and I was eating these snacks, and I kept grabbing in fistfuls and fistfuls and fistfuls of these snacks, I would be racking up calories pretty fast. And I would easily be able to exceed 210 calories because 1.5 uh, ounces of this product is, is not very big. It's, it's just about a fistful of these chips. Now, is there really any, any benefit in this product at all? It, this is really nothing more than a bag of Doritos or corn chips. It says the first ingredient is whole corn. They use safflower oil, which is a oil that's said to be low in, in, cal, uh, in cholesterol. And then again it says there's whole wheat, uh, whole grain, whole oats, flour. Okay, so they're, what they're trying to do is emphasize in the first in the list of the ingredients here that all of these things are natural and they're good for you. It comes down to this folks, how much of this product do we eat? Here's what it comes down to folks, how much am I eating? As I can tell that there's in one bag 210 calories. Am I going to go overboard and eat and eat and eat and eat? Am I going to take and look at this panel and think, well, this is heart healthy for me? Or am I going to realize that this is just some kind of a mental game that they're playing, that the manufacturers are playing to try to induce you to buy a product? What they're doing is basically changing the advertising on a, an old story. These things are loaded with calories. They're, they're in a very small portion of food you get a large amount of calories. That's it. That's it in a nutshell. I don't care how you how you how you can uh, make the bag pretty. I don't care what you do. These sun chips are loaded with calories. Do I say you shouldn't eat them? No. What I'm saying is your total calorie count for the day should include during your meal 210 calories and that's it. That's it in a nutshell. How much do you eat? How many of these chips are you going to eat? And are you going to allow them to try to convince you that somehow these are healthier when reality says that they're nothing more than just a bag of Doritos which have been around for a very long time? That's all I have for you today. I hope that video about the sun chips and just eating chips in general snack foods helped you. Um, that's all, like I said, I have for you today. That's the way it is. I'm David Dane.